For most of us, we think of little pictures on the walls of church when we hear the Stations of the Cross. We know that the Stations are about the last few hours of Christ before he died. And remember that it happened 2,000 years ago. But unfortunately, that's where many of us leave it. We don't believe or even understand how the Stations of the Cross are real to us in our regular, everyday lives. Each of the Stations reveal to us that many of the struggles that Christ faced are still so very similar to the same struggles that we all still go through today. And we invite you now to experience the Stations like never before. Station 1. Pilate condemns Jesus to die. Luke 23, verses 1 through 25. The whole company arose and brought Jesus before Pilate, and they began to accuse him, saying, We found this man misleading our nation and forbidding us to give tribute to Caesar, and saying that he himself is Christ, a king. And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus answered him, You have said so. Then Pilate said to the chief priests and to the crowds, I find no guilt in this man. But they were urgent, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Judea, from Galilee even to this place. Pilate said to them, I have found in him no guilt deserving death. I will therefore punish and release him. But they were urgent, demanding with loud cries that he should be crucified, and their voices prevailed. So Pilate decided that their demand should be granted and he delivered Jesus over to their will. In our own lives, we are often afraid of the things that might cause us pain, even when they are things we know we have to do. And even Jesus, though he was God, the Bible says in the garden, he did not want to go through this. And it's hard not to wonder if he wasn't scared as he was being condemned. But he did go through it. Jesus had the courage to face the cross because he knew that his actions would lead to humanity's greatest gift. Lord, give us courage so that we can embrace the trials and hard times in our life. For it is the valleys that shape us and mature us. And it is through pain that we cling to you and seek comfort in your love. Amen.